Welcome to Headline News 24-7. Please click like and subscribe. Texas governor deploys 1,000 troops to the border. Reasons why is the stuff of nightmares. Tens of thousands of illegal aliens were nabbed crossing the southern border into Texas in the past three weeks alone. If that isn't the stuff of nightmares for America, what is? Now, Republican Governor Greg Abbott is taking action. Abbott's words, I just deployed 1,000 National Guard troops to the border. This is needed because more than 45,000 people were apprehended crossing our border illegally in the last three weeks. They come from 52 different countries. Congress must do its job and fund border security. Democrats believe throwing money at a problem will solve the issue, despite copious amounts of evidence to the contrary. Need one example? How's Obamacare working out for the American people? 2020 Democrat presidential candidate Joe Biden thinks he can solve the immigration crisis at the southern border by sending more of your taxpayer dollars to Central American nations. The force is not strong with this one. From Breitbart, Vice President Joe Biden proposed Tuesday that the United States of America send more foreign aid to Central American countries to stop the flood of illegal immigrants and migrants at the southern border. Biden criticized Trump for demonizing people, particularly Mexican and Central American immigrant, during a campaign rally in Nevada. You know, we can solve the problem at the border, and it starts not at the border. We can do it by making the countries and helping the countries where they're fleeing from better so that they don't want to leave in the first place, he said. Biden touted his efforts to create a bipartisan program to provide significant economic aid to Central America. It was working. The president has just now cut all the money, he said. And it was bipartisan, overwhelmingly passed by Democrats and Republicans. The Democrat Party has moved so violently left they cannot see straight anymore. Due to the overwhelming number of migrants trying to come into America, the DHS has been forced to release tens of thousands into the country. Now these illegal aliens live on American tax dollars on the American soil. Many of them are also engaged in various conflicts with U.S. laws ending up in jails. Is this the American dream that liberals are so dearly arguing about? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.